my name is Mauricio, I'm from FuelTech Brazil, and in this video I want to present to you one of the many ways we have to activate a two-step for launching on drag race. So this is a drag bike with a turbo Suzuki Hayabusa engine, and this one, this is a Suzuki Hayabusa, it's an NA running uh, methanol and nitromethane, and uh, usually when you race these bikes with a stock ECU, the rider only has to concentrate on two factors, which, which are the throttle and the clutch. Once you convert to fuel tech and you want to start using time-based control, time-based cuts, time-based retards, even uh, active traction control, some of them require a valid launch. And what we call a valid launch is the rider to press the two-step button or to activate a two-step and either hit the two-step limiter once or open throttle at least 50%. And this is what a valid launch for a FuelTech ECU is. But we gotta admit, this is too much information for the rider sometimes. And in this case, the rider uses the clutch switch for the two-step button. So whenever he presses the, the clutch, it hits the clutch switch and then it activates the two-step. And then whenever, whenever I press the clutch, the two-step indication comes on the left. See, there's two-step. And it keeps blinking in red whenever a, a launch is not validated, which means hitting the two-step limiter or opening the throttle more than 50%. On the stock Hayabusa, the clutch switch is like, you can, you can hear it clicking, right? But you never know when, uh, when the clutch is going to start launching the bike and when a two-step is going to release. So this is, this is kind of tricky with the stock sensor. Another option is to use the brake switch on a front brake or the brake switch on a brake pedal, on a rear brake. This bike has no rear brake, but you can use it. This bike is using the brake switch. So whenever I press the brake, the two-step comes on, see? See, two-step. But this is kind of tricky because the driver has to learn how to launch by pressing the brake and then giving a throttle and then releasing the brake. So it can be very tricky sometimes. But we have another way of doing that and this is by using the wheel speed sensor. So whenever the bike has stopped, the two-step is activated. When the, when the wheels start moving and you can select on the software if you want the front wheel or the rear wheel to be your, uh, your speed measurement for a two-step and once once they start moving it, it you can deactivate a two-step so you can select the speed above which the two-step will be deactivated or activated usually we use like three kilometers an hour or one mile per hour around that and above that the two-step is disabled and you can also use a clutch position sensor or like a pressure sensor a clutch um, a clutch pressure sensor also uh, any kind of sensor that is connected to the fuel tank, one of the white wires, can be used to trigger a two-step input. And whenever you have that figured out, the traction controls and uh, time-based controls, or progressive nitros by time, and or any kind of control that uses time as a reference, can be used. And uh, it's very easy to uh, make the, the riding just as it was before, like with no two-step. This way the driver has more time to focus on uh, throttle and clutch next time he goes to the drag strip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Leave your comments and questions on the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel in order to be notified of the next videos we post. And see you on the next video.